Number one says, where in the student reference book would you look to find the definition of area? Circle the best answer. So the table of contents is in the very front of the book, which tells you what page you might want to find something. So it doesn't tell us the definition. The index is the very back of the book, again, where you look up a concept and it tells you what page you can find more information on, but it doesn't give us a definition. A glossary does give us all the definitions of our vocab words, so that's a possibility. Game section just tells us about the games, so that wouldn't be it. We already know it's not all of the above. So the best answer would be C, the glossary. Number two says solve. So again, we know when we have any type of grouping symbols like parentheses, we have to make sure we do those first. So 4 times 12 is 48, and then 48 plus 8 is 56. So for the second one, we have 16 divided by 8 in parentheses, so we need to do that first. 16 divided by 8 is 2, and then 32 Oops, I did that problem wrong. It says 16 divided by 2. So 16 divided by 2, sorry, is 8. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. And the last one, again, we have 32 divided by 8 in parentheses. 32 divided by 8 is 4. And then 4 times 2 is 8. Number three says draw lines to match each measurement with its equivalent. So again, if you are having any help, you can look at the back of your book on page 328 to help you with your conversions. Okay, so the first one, one centimeter. The second one is one kilometer. The third one is one meter. And the fourth one is one millimeter. So I'm gonna start with the easy ones. 1,000 centimeters, I know equals one kilometer. 100 centimeters I know equals one meter. So now I have these fractions one one hundredth of a meter and one hundredth of a meter. So, or I'm sorry, one one thousandth of a meter and one one hundredth of a meter. So one centimeter is one one hundredth of a me meter and one millimeter is one one thousandth. You can find all of that information by, again, looking at your reference book on page 328 in your conversion chart. Number four says two friends were playing a game and recorded the scores below. So player one had 42 plus 51. Player two had four plus 42 plus 51. So I want to know who has more points. So just by looking, I have 42 plus 51 here. In 42 plus 51 here. I add 4 to that answer, so right away I know player 2 has more points. In the last one, number 5 says, did you need to calculate the scores to find out who had more points in problem 4? Why or why not? So like I just said before, we don't need to calculate anything. We know player 2 has a higher score because her score is the exact same as player 1's with 4 more. So anytime we add 4 more or any more, we know that our score is going to get bigger. So right away, even without solving the problem, we know that player 2 has more points. Make sure you write that and explain it in your own words on problem 5.